Hello and welcome to another Foundry Quick Tip. And today it's about careers. How to create a custom career. Well, and without further ado, let's just get cracking. Um, the career system in Warm Fancy is a really cool thing. I think it's um, it's one of the it, it may be the or one of the reasons at least why I like this game so much. It is very diverse, extensive, detailed and uh, it's a cool way to do the progress of your career uh, of your character instead of just simple level leveling up a few things um there are 64 careers in the base game um uh, but even with those 64 careers you might find uh things lacking missing not to your liking um a little bit off or there might be whatever reason you want to create a career. Um, one of the things uh, I am missing in this system is um, uh, has to do with um, um, me starting out this game in Warmer Fantasy First Edition is uh, alchemists. Um, in First Edition, the wizards and magic was arranged differently than in later editions. And um, the careers reflected that, and I personally think it's a it was a cool uh, cool way they did it, and I think it's missing. For instance, if you look at alchemists, um, this is the the art that comes with uh, with the book. Uh, this is a normal wizard, this is an alchemist, and even by just looking at the concept art you can tell these are two different types of people. Um, this is a spellcaster, uh, this is something that someone that does potions and enchanting and stuff like that. And sure, the lore is different, the, um, the uh, magic lore is different, uh, so you have this career, but with a uh, lore of light uh, is different than this career with the Lord of Fire, for instance. But the skills are the same, the talents are the same, um, the advance scheme is the same. <coughs> so, yeah, it, it, it's, you know, some careers do it, it, it this fits, like with Artisan. Uh, or you know this one scholar you can um, easily fit it to uh, being a blacksmith or being being a carpenter for instance but this career seems to me like more of a, a generic battle wizard than uh, a proper lore wizard so that's the um, for me the reason why I want to create a custom career and uh, as you saw previously I already did uh, a thing um, that's one of the things you have to do of course you have to well make up uh, what the career looks like and I used a bit of the normal wizard career I used a bit of first edition alchemy I used a bit of the uh, apothecary a little bit of the artisan a little bit of engineer and I came up with this um, this thing is just a journal entry here a journal entry and this is just text editing so it's not that difficult it's fairly e easy to do now if you're wondering how to do these little uh, linky uh, thingies uh, that's very easy and I will show you in a bit how to do that but first you have to do um, this I've copied this little flavor text from first edition um, I've altered the advanced scheme I basically took the wizard advanced scheme and changed it around a bit. Uh, I've changed the weapon skill to second, to re uh, second tier. Uh, I've changed the initiative and agility to toughness and dexterity. And also I changed when you get that. And uh, now you get these ones first, the second, third and fourth. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's uh, different, uh, different a bit. Um, how you do this and what you put in here is completely up to you. Uh, one thing to note is first tier has eight skills, second has six, third has four, and the fourth has two. And each has four distinct uh, talents. The talents are always different, and trappings, well, whatever you fancy. 
Um, surely you can make do with just this. I mean, you can also just write it down on a piece of paper. It doesn't really matter. But how do you uh, make this work automatically in uh, in Foundry? Uh, so you can click and drag it onto a character and they can uh, use the pluses and the skills and the talents automatically and such. Well, it's uh, actually a little bit easier than you might think. Uh, first thing we can do, uh, we shall do, is create a folder. I'll get missed, so um, and we're gonna like, give it a cool color, maybe sort of goldish, whatever. Now missed. There we go. That's our folder. Create an item, and each of these things is going to be a separate item. So we and we are going to start with the first one, Alchemist Apprentice. Alchemist Apprentice. Uh, spelling is going to be important in this. Um, if you find out it doesn't work, it's probably because of the spelling. And do note that sometimes spelling is weird because petty magic is with a C and language magic is with CK, so who knows why. Um, so, first, Alchemist Apprentice. Alchemist Apprentice, it's a career. And the folder is going to be. Uh, I should have. Why is there no folder? Oh, there we go. It's all the way at the bottom. Alchemists. And it has created a new item Alchemist Apprentice. There you go, Alchemist Apprentice. Um, let's create an icon for it. Of course, if you have a custom icon. You can put it there, uh, but the game does have uh, something for it. Um, maybe you have core data, and this is what you see, and then you should click user data, and then all the way up the top, go to modules, go to your fourth edition core, go to icons, go to careers, and there you will see uh, all the careers, but also a career one. So if you have a custom icon, you can use that. Uh, if you don't, you can use use the generic career one icon. There you go. And it's a career token icon with a with a one. Uh, for the description, and now I will show you how to do that very easy thing. Um, instead of copy pasting this text or writing a new text or whatever, you can just because you've already done the uh, journal entry, you can just click and drag that and it will, will create a reference to it and you hit save and there it is. So if I now close this one, open that one, there you go. Um, that's it for the description tab. Of course you can add some gem stuff like, uh, I don't know, give some extra experience because it's a difficult career or or give less experience because it's overpowered or uh, only used for NPCs or people who play these are idiots or <laughs> whatever you want you can put it there. Um, let's take a look at the details. The class. Well, it's here. The class. Academics. So put it there. Aca academics. There you go. Academics. Career group. Alchemist. There we go. Career level one. Yep, one. Status tier. Uh, brass. So brass. Cur status standing four. Four. Um, toughness, dexterity, intelligence. Toughness, dexterity, and intelligence and now the skills it's very important that you type things correctly uh, you can just type them here and I have did it before so I can just hopefully copy paste up no. so here we go uh, if you don't want to see me type just skip ahead, skip ahead a bit dodge evaluate uh, intuition there you go. Language. Classical. Yep. Um, lore. Chemistry. 
Perception. Re uh, research. And trade. Alchemist. There we go. Now, you might notice that trade alchemist trade alchemist does not exist there's not no such thing as trade alchemist in the in the book or in the rules uh, the game uh, uses the trade uh, blank uh, skill and then fills it in with the alchemist so it, it works properly um, those are the skills the earning skill is the one that's in um, italic here um, so that's trade alchemist so just type it the same as above trade alchemist there we go and now we have to put in the talents detect artifact nimble finger read write and resistance poison detect artifact again check spelling um uh, nimble fingered uh read writes and resistance poison there we go and trappings Uh, there you go. Um, that's it, basically. Uh, we can now close this, go to a dummy, and click and drag our career, and then click current, and you will see Brass 4, Academics, Alchemist, Alchemist Apprentice, 1, 2, 3, and if we go to the skills, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I go to the talents, there you are. One, two, three, four. So it works. Hooray! We've done a thing. Um, how to create uh, the other ones is fairly simple. You just do the same thing. There's one thing to note. Um, always start with Alchemist Apprentice and then duplicate the last one you made and then edit that now why would we duplicate so very simple this is already there the skills are already there we only have to add the cool haggle and such so I'll just do that cool cool haggle um, where was I Lang language magic lore alchemy. There is no lore alchemy, but same as lore chemistry or or lore or um, trade alchemist. It will use the uh, lore blank and then um, fill it in with alchemy and make it work. Lore metallurgy. Um, or plants. There you go. Yep, and melee basic. Okay. My basic melee basic melee basic I've heard different pronunciations uh, don't forget to do the talents there's different talents uh, and be dextrous artistic petty magic and speed reader there we go um now um, those are things you can you have to edit don't forget the add the uh, 
change in the advanced scheme. Um, the, this is tier two. This is now silver and it is silver two, oh, not five, two. There we go. Um, this should be all in order. Just close it. Oh, I immediately see we forgot one thing. Go here. It should still be in the same directory. There you go. There we go. And now we can say this is complete. And click current. Silver 2. This is all the same. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Always check, check and double check. Go to the skills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's all correct. Talents, uh, the talents. Yep, one, two, three, four. Of course, I didn't take one of the other, the other ones. So these are all four new ones. So yeah, it's in order. Um, same with the last two. You just click the last one, you edit it. So that's Alchemist, uh, tier one we've already done. Tier two, we duplicate that. Then why do we duplicate that one? Well, simple, because the skills, you add them. So <coughs> they're already here and now I can just add the new ones, change the skill, the talents, change this stuff, add this, and we're not, I'm not going to do all of them. You know how to do it. One thing, a uh, cool thing you can do now is because we've created the first and second tier already, we can edit this thing here you can see all the references. Um, Alchemist Apprentice. We can now do this. Alchemist Apprentice. There we go. Delete that. Oop. Save it. Hey. We've done a thing. Cool. Uh, same for Alchemist. We've already done that, so I can do it. Oh, sometimes it puts it at the bottom. I don't know why that is. So just copy or cut and paste. And this is a very simple thing to do. Should be heading whoop, heading three. Uh, wait, should it be heading three bolt? Heading three, yep. Yeah. So. Delete that. This is heading three. Bolt. Save. There you go. Alchemist. Yeah, it comes up. So fairly easy to do that. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what kind of uh, careers you think are missing in the uh, in the core rulebook uh, or what kind of cool uh, cool kind of careers you are going to make uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch you next time bye bye